lunch, dinner, and now breakfast. <laughs> Meatloaf is so personal. <laughs> oh, no one at the door. Now, where was I? Mmm. And just a dash of salt. No! What the? <laughs> <laughs> Woof. Johnny, you know how I feel about salt-related pranks? Sorry, Dad. We're bored, and pranking seemed like a good idea. Listen, son, pranking can be fun, but it can be trouble, too. I know. I used to make funny prank phone calls back in the day, but... Wait. Mm -hmm. Funny? Prank? Oh, yeah. Prank calling was the best thing ever, until the day I pranked the wrong guy. He really didn't find it funny. Hear that, Dookie? Prank calling is the best thing ever. Let's do it! So I skipped town, got plastic surgery, and changed my name to Dad. Yeah! A call from the test house! This is it! Susan is finally calling to ask me out! <clears throat> Why, hello. Hello. <laughs> is your refrigerator running? <laughs> well, I... Uh... But Johnny test! Nice try, but I have caller ID! Well, that was terrible. Let me try. <laughs> Pork Belly Animal Hospital, how may I help you, Mr. Test? Yes, I'm looking for... Wait, you know who this is? Of course, we have caller ID. By the way, Dookie is due for his checkup. <sighs> uh, sorry, I dialed the wrong number. <laughs> well, that was more terrible. <sighs> how come Dad could prank call people and we stink at it? Because with today's technology, it's impossible to phone prank anyone. Too bad we can't prank call someone in the past when they didn't have caller ID. Dookie, you're a genius! Perfect shot! Thanks! But it was supposed to make the target disappear! This is the worst dematerializing ray ever! If only we could get advice from an experienced inventor. Hey, sisters, who I'm not trying to get something from. I was just wondering if you ever put a phone in the Turbo Tea House time machine? Why would we do that? Just seems like if you made a time machine, you'd also have a phone in it to call people in the past. <gasps> Best idea ever! We could call Thomas Edison and consult with him! Or prank call him. What was that? that? No, no, nothing, nothing. Uh, so, about that phone. Uh, better get on it, sisters. Less talky, more history phone makey. We're already done. Hmm? <laughs> wow. That was inexplicably fast. Well, our work here is done. Uh, we'll just leave now. Hello? Thomas Edison here. <laughs> From the future, you say. Wonderful. How may I help you? Oh, fantastic! That totally resolves our dematerializing ray issues. Well, I hope you find much success with all your inventions. Thanks, Mr. Edison. Oh, before you go, I have hypothesized that in the future, everyone will have superpowers. Is this true? Uh, no. Not yet, anyway. Perhaps it should be your next invention. <laughs> well, gotta go. Later. Hmm. Maybe we should work on the superpower ray in the future. In the meantime, wanna go dematerialize stuff? Do you even have to ask? <laughs> Hello? Is Mr. or Mrs. Wall there? No, there are no walls here. <laughs> then what holds up the ceiling? <laughs> Confound it! <laughs> <laughs> Free concert tickets? And all I have to do is run around outside with a kite? Ooh, Ben Franklin like it. <laughs> <laughs> Revenge! <laughs> I bow it! Marie Curie's the name. Radioactivity is the game. This is an emergency announcement. Aliens are attacking. Seek shelter immediately! <laughs> da Vinci Residence, Leonardo speaking. Hi, I'm looking for a Mr. O'Brains, first name Ivan. <laughs> Ivan O'Brains? <gasps> you have no brains? What? Hey, I know, I didn't mean that. <laughs> You're the one who said it, dude! Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's time to invade some revenge! <laughs> the name Alexander Graham Bell will forever be associated with this magnificent invention! Hey! Oh. Hello? 
Hi, uh, do you have a blue shirt? A blue shirt? Well, yes, I do. Ah, then why don't you cheer it up? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid telephone machine. <laughs> Dookie, prank calling people from the past is your best idea ever. And don't you forget it until everything goes terribly wrong. <laughs> yes, I'm looking for a Mr. or Mrs. Wall. Unoriginal scoundrels! You already used that one. But at least now I have your information. Huh? Information? I've tracked your telephone's location and call history. And I see you've been busy calling many of history's greatest minds. Yeah? Well, what are you gonna do? Build a time machine and come get us? <laughs> <laughs> Build one? No, I've already got one! <laughs> And now, to assemble my team! My rib! My rib! You couldn't build a bigger time machine or what? Ow! Hey, Franklin! Do me a favor and invent a big batch of Be Quiet! Now, off to future pork belly for the real lesson of history. Revenge! How could we possibly do that without superpowers? Oh, I'm way ahead of you. It's taken years, but we've perfected the superpower ray. Edison's dream is finally a reality. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Edison stole our invention. Yes. This isn't just a history book. It's a phone book. Who knew something from school would actually be useful? Attention, Park Belly! We are... The League of Exceptional Historical Figures! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Exceptionally old! <laughs> Look at the clothes! Oh, I'd recognize that cackling laughter anywhere! Oh, it's the goons who piped us! Historical figures! Time to unleash our superpower pranks! Superpowers combined, we shall seek vengeance on that flame-headed boy and his hairy friend. Attack! <laughs> 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 Nuclear cream pie, not my favorite. This is what I call a long-distance vengeance. <laughs> Would you mind holding this? Why, certainly. <laughs> Dematerializer to zap these guys back to the past. Not so fast, young prankster. Duck. Johnny, what did you do? Nothing. Well, maybe I made a prank phone call or two. Johnny! Yo, oh, that's bad. Well, it did dematerialize. Uh, hey, historical figures. <laughs> Did I tell you uh, how good you look for your age? <laughs> <laughs> now to paint another masterpiece of prank. All the time. Have a good play. I'm no match for history's greatest geeks. Please, I'm sorry. I'll never prank again. That's what we want to hear. We're doing important work, and we don't need prank calls distracting us. You have my promise. I won't do it anymore. Apology accepted. Johnny, snack time. Bring in your historical reenactor friends for some tater tots. That's great. <laughs> and just a dash of salt. 